You know, people don't actually do that, by the way. That's not a thing. Yaho, YouTube, I'm super janky. And I'm Ryan Balta, aka Ryan underscore Balta on Instagram. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about meeting, meeting people in college. college. But before we get into that, Ryan, how did we meet the other day? Well, Super Genki, I was actually on my way to a gig here That's on true. campus. I remember. Yes. And I was singing the national anthem, and I heard someone playing at the piano. Mm -hmm. I had some time to kill, so I said, let me go check it out. Sure enough, you were there. And, you know, I, I liked what you were playing, and then you asked me, hey, can you play something? I played one of my original pieces. Beautiful, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and then you asked me, what do you think about the power of positive thinking? What a smashing way to start a conversation. But YouTube, it wasn't an accident. It wasn't chance. If I didn't know how to play the piano, I never would have been at the piano. And if I didn't have confidence in my ability to play, I never would have asked Ryan if he could play. And Ryan, what's music to you? Music is a universal language. Mm -hmm. It speaks to the soul. It speaks to passion. Mm -hmm. It speaks to emotion. Music really is one of those things that allows you to express your emotions in a way that you wouldn't necessarily do it in your everyday life. Yeah. But once you meet someone that speaks that language, it's like, wow. You know, it's a really amazing experience. It's a conversation starter. It's passion linking up with someone else's passion. And Ryan, what did you think when I asked you if you could play as well? It was one of those things that it was, wow, you're one of me. Yeah, right? let's, let's have a conversation about it, you know? And, and through that, it was, I could have sat there and talked about music for hours. Yeah. <laughs> but he had a performance to get to. So. I did. <laughs> we cut it short, but yeah. Music like dancing or Japanese is not a talent you do. It's a skill. And like music or Japanese or even talking to people, it can be developed over time. And Ryan, how long have you been playing music for? I've been playing for about 10 years. What kept you going in the beginning? Essentially, Tsubigenki, the power of visual manifestation. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? If you can't see it in here, you can't see it out here. Oof. Deep. I used to watch a lot of videos of uh, mm -hmm. Green Day, it's one of my favorite bands. I used to just watch their performances and think, I want to be able to do that. So I guess what kept me going was always having in that goal in mind, like I'm going to be on a stage, I'm going to release this many songs, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Seeing it mm -hmm. is what was the most important thing. Brian, what's some advice you would give to aspiring young musicians? People out there that want to speak the language, but are still trapped in thinking that it's a talent. And if they don't have the talent, they can't play it. Set goals for yourself. Walt Disney once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. If you can see yourself, again, back to visual manifestation, yeah. if you can see yourself doing these things, it will happen in your actual everyday life. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to go up to your local music teacher and ask them, hey, listen, I don't really know how to play music, but I kind of understand it. Can you help me? Don't be afraid to ask for help. Because in asking for help, that leads to a network of different things that can possibly happen in your life. And in turn, you grow what happens in here. And to add on to that, don't be afraid to ask other people if they can play as well. Because that's how we met. The, the power of, of positive, positive thinking. thinking. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Share. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. We'll, we'll see you in the next, next one. Bye-bye.